everything's tight. My bras are tighter. I've joined gyms and went a couple times and then, well, you know how that goes. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am starting a weight loss journey. I've done this before many, many times. Thank you, Kat. And I've just never, I just never stuck to it. I would weigh myself every day. And every day that I got on the scale, it would say a lower number. I would lose a pound or a half a pound or whatever it was, but I was happy to see that number on the scale go down every day. Every day I would weigh myself and I was starving myself, I was walking, I was just doing anything and everything that I could just to see that number on the scale go down, but it wasn't healthy and I couldn't keep going that way. And you already know what happened. I gained all of the weight back. Oh my God. So I told myself I need to make some lifestyle changes. I'm making some lifestyle changes for good. Tonight is the first night of my new nighttime routine. I'm gonna go home, I'm going to shower, brush my teeth, do my skincare, take a sleeping pill, and get in the bed with a book. I usually get in the bed with my phone, which is no good. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna put our phone on the side. We're not gonna touch our phone. And hopefully I get a good night's sleep and I wake up in the morning refreshed and ready to start my day. On my way home from work, I can already feel the resistance setting in. Me wanting to come home and do what I normally do, which is stay up late, eat. So I'm going to fight it. I'm not going to eat and I'm going to take a sleeping pill and I'm going to go to sleep in a couple of hours. But I'm not going to eat while I'm up working. Hopefully I get a good night's sleep. I'm going to get up early in the morning. And blah, 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 um, blah, blah, blah. I had all these elaborate plans that a routine is what I needed to get me in order. But I didn't stick to that either. I have to get an oil change and I'm way overdue. By the way, I do have on bottoms. I feel like I've lost a few pounds because I was kind of good this weekend. Ah, 208.4. I'm addicted to weighing myself. So I've been on this weight loss journey for years. And I keep saying, I've got to do it now. I don't want to be like Oprah in my 60s, still talking about my weight. I don't know if she's still talking about her weight, but I know she did that whole Weight Watchers thing where she's like, I guess part owner or something, I don't know. And I know she was 60 and I'm like, I'm 54 and I'm on my way to 60. I'm 54. Like if I don't do it now, when am I gonna do it? If I don't do so many things that I wanna do now, when am I gonna do them? So I'm gonna conquer this now. And I do realize that it's not about dieting. It's about making like a lifestyle change because it's something that you have to maintain. It's something that I'm gonna have to do forever if I want to maintain good health and maintain a good weight. So I'm not dieting, I'm not dieting, although sometimes I may refer to what I'm doing as a diet, but I just really mean my diet, as in my food, what I'm eating, um, like what you know I'm putting in my body. So this is the year that I'm gonna conquer it. I don't wanna go on fighting this battle anymore. I just wanna conquer it and just have a new lifestyle. And um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and you're gonna watch me do it. I am gonna do it. I find that when I have you guys to hold me accountable, used to be Facebook, but, um, and it'll still be Facebook and TikTok <laughs> and Instagram. That's my three socials other than this YouTube. Um, when I find, I find that when I have somebody to hold me accountable, I really get things accomplished. So yeah, I'm gonna take you on this journey with me. I am gonna lose this weight. I am currently, a little over 200 pounds. I can't believe it. As you saw earlier, I was down to 183. And um, I can't believe I've gone back up to over 200. I'm 205 pounds, I'm 54, and I'm five, six and a half. 
I don't even know. Well, I do know how it happened. I just spent this summer eating anything and everything. And I was eating healthy too, but I was really eating a lot of junk. I was drinking sodas again, and I don't even really drink soda a lot. Um, but once I get on like a soda kick, oh my God, it's like drugs. I just, I'm on a kick and I just want more. Um, and it becomes like a habit. And then at work at a certain time, I gotta have my soda. And uh, yeah, soda and snacking and a lot of fast food. I was eating a lot of Chick-fil-A, a lot of Captain D's, a lot of Captain D's. <laughs> a lot of Captain D's, those hush puppies. Mm, yum. A lot of sweet tea. Oh, the sweet tea. Um, I just went a little crazy. A lot of Starbucks. I went from 183 to 205. So I'm 205. I want to be 160. Um, and then I'll worry about getting below that then if I do get below that or if I don't get below that I don't but I just want to get to 160 I just want to see where I'm at how I feel how I look how my clothes fit um, at 160 so I've got to lose 45 pounds I don't think that's hard I've seen people lose weight and actually keep it off so that's what we're trying to do trying to get this weight off and feel better I feel better I have more energy my clothes fit better I get a little pep in my step um, and now I everything's tight and so I wear big and baggy stuff my bras are tighter everything's tight um, I have less energy I just refuse to go another year thinking about my weight. I've gone up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down for, I would say, um, 47, since I was about 46, 47. Before that, I just had gained weight and I just didn't really care. And I was just walking around overweight and I just wasn't even trying to lose weight. I just was in survival mode raising my kids and I just let myself go and I didn't even think about myself. But when I was around 46 or 47, that's when I started thinking, okay, I, I gotta lose some weight because I'm not feeling good. And um, I started walking. I used to live near a bridge in New York and I used to walk over that bridge almost every day and I lost 30 pounds. Um, pretty much just walking. I mean, I walked everywhere. I walked a lot. And ever since then, I've lost 30 pounds, I've gained it back. I've lost 30 pounds, I've gained it back. I've done that like maybe four times since then. Um, and I went a long stretch keeping it off, but then eventually I would just gain it back. I'm definitely an emotional eater. I mean, who isn't? I eat when I'm happy, I eat when I'm sad, I eat when I'm stressed. I mean, I like food, I'm not gonna lie. I like food. Um, I like almost all kind of food. The only things that I don't think that I like to eat is liver and goat. <laughs> but other than that, I'll eat it. Um, I love Mexican, Italian, seafood, soul food, um, Caribbean food. I just love food and I want to be able to eat but um, what I've been doing lately is not good I mean all the sugar I can give up sugar and I swear drop 10 pounds like that I could probably lose 20 pounds like this between sugar and water weight um, so the first three weeks I feel like it's gonna be easy if I can just stick to the changes that I'm gonna make. After that, it's gonna require some real effort. Uh, and that's gonna be effort, not to say that's not effort. That's effort, but I mean real work. Um, it's gonna require some real work. Um, just maintaining the healthy eating and ex 
exercise. I do nothing now. I absolutely do nothing. I work, got an entry, so I sit at a desk typing all night and I sleep and during the day I run errands and stuff and I write, I'm a writer, so I'm just constantly on my computer sitting around. I literally get no physical activity and that's horrible. And like I said, I used to walk. I can't say I've ever really joined a gym and worked out. I've joined gyms and went a couple times and then, well, you know how that goes. Um, but I don't really work out. I don't work out. Who are we kidding? I don't work out. And um, I haven't walked in a while. I walked recently, but that was like a day here, a day there. I'm talking about consistent walking. Um, and it's really just good for you. It's good for your heart. It's good for your mind. It's good for your body. So I'm going to try to get back into that. And um, I'm just going to take you on this journey. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. How? I don't know. But I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. So let's see how this goes. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. Take this journey with me and I will see you in my next video.